this inning with only one run scored. Swing and a little blooper to center. And Hardy will make the catch. That retires the side. So one run here on one hit. No errors. And no one left on base. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. The Storm are out in front. One to nothing. Chris Archer, a right-hander from North Carolina, is the man on the mound. HR, what's the word on him? Well, if you're looking for a slider off of him, you're Leading probably going to get it. He uses Center a slider fielder. a lot. I would say that is a primary Ripper. pitch that he uses. He'll use it in any count, any situation. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. A one count. Here's the pitch. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Ooh, that was a good pitch to hit. He wants that one back. He was just a little bit late on it. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. With a moment now, let's have a look at the home team starting lineup. What's the key to sending fans home smiling tonight, Harold? Matt, they're facing an excellent pitcher. Look, and what great pitchers do, they get stronger as the game goes on. So to me, you got to get him early. I want to see if they take pitches, maybe try to work the count a little bit, get that pitch count up, and maybe see if they can get him weaker as he goes deeper into the game. But it's going to be a challenge, no doubt. Here's Manny Machado now. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Bases are empty here with two men out. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. See what happens when you work fast, you stay aggressive, and you come right after guys. Man, you get great results. Two quick outs, and now he's 0-2 on this hit. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. Now he drops a changeup on him. Strike three called, and a great pitch there to retire the side. Nothing across here this half. Second inning upcoming from Baltimore. Chicago is on top one to nothing. Here's the left fielder Hanley Ramirez. He'll be the one to lead it off There's against Ubaldo Jimenez. Hanley Ramirez. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Rickard ranging back out of here to the deepest part of the yard. It's a solo shot for Hanley Ramirez as it's now a 2 nothing ball game. I know he's a confident pitcher but there's a difference between being confident and downright foolish. He just offered one of the most dangerous hitters in the lineup a straight heater and it cost him big time. Batting sec. Here's Rugnet Odor Second now. Rugnet Odor. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. Base is empty here with nobody out. Foul back. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. On the ground to the right side. Fielded cleanly by Davis. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the catcher. home team. And I'm looking at the catcher, Wellington Castile. In other words, Beef Wellington, get it? Ben Scully turned me on to that one. But hey, I'll tell you what else has really started to beef up for him is that his offense has really come along as he got older. He could always catch frame the ball and make throws to the bases but the offense has made him a different type of player hit on the ground out to short Hardy's up with it throw gets him two down batting eight 
Left fielder, Cole Calhoun. Cole Calhoun will stand in now. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0 and 1. The wind up and the 0 1. Now a fastball off the plate away. A ball and a strike. Two out, nobody on. Swing and a liner. But just fouls as he just misses extra bases. Jimenez deals the one two. Now a fastball but that's easy to lay off and it's back to even a two and two. Two and two count here it comes. High in the air out to center field. Rickards on his horse. No trouble with this one and the inning is over. So one run on one base hit the home run no errors and no one left. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. Chicago is on top here two to nothing. Here's Mark Trumbo now. They stand in against Chris Archer to get the inning underway. Mark Trumbo. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. And there's ball one. One and two now. Here's Archer on one and two. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. All right, here's how the visitors are lining up defensively, courtesy of Majestic. And in the outfield, Cole Calhoun. Talk about aggressive. He will leave his feet to go make a play on anybody. And he can throw the ball, too. I think he has a huge advantage when you put him on the corners being a left-handed outfielder. He seems to play the angles great. Here it comes. Chris Here Davis runs. swings and misses there, so he's down 0-1. Well, he swung right through that on that changeup. The changeup is a tough pitch to swing at for the first pitch because you haven't measured his velocity yet, so you don't know what you're going to see coming your direction. Started to go around there. Looked like he held up in time. No. Strike two, says the third base umpire. A wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. So coming to the plate, Wellington Castillo. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. And that misses for ball one. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. And a changeup right down the middle. Oh, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top level arm like this. And this is fouled straight back. Archer looks in. Here's the 1 2. And the slider stayed low, apparently, for a ball. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Toward the gap in right center. This is going to be a base hit, and he may take that big turn at first. And he is in the second with a two out double. As a hitter, the only feeling better than hitting a bomb is driving one into the gap like that. He hustled out of the box knowing he was guaranteed a double, but I think he had thoughts of maybe a triple if the outfielder hadn't gotten it back in right away. Yeah, there really wasn't any question about that one going for extra bases off the bat. Frozen with a high fastball there. We'll see if they try to climb the ladder even more on the next pitch. Working for the punch out and the offering. 
This is popped high in the air toward the right side of the infield. And nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. Carlos Gonzalez will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number five, Carlos Gonzalez. Down the first baseline, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. And he'll start out their half of the third, top of the order to follow. Here's his splitter that's taken for a ball, 1 and 1. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But a foul ball, one and two now. To two balls and two strikes now. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Foul toward the third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. Ready with another 2 2. This is pulled into right. And that's going to be a base hit. So a great job off the bench, and he's aboard here to lead off the inning. Matt, did you see where they were playing him? They are playing him in the shift, and he just did not care. If you hit the ball hard, I guess that's his philosophy. It was going to get through anyway, and we saw it right there. Base hit into the shift. Stepping in now, Geronimo Navoa. Line drive to center field. Rickard. Has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first out. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Now batting, the center fielder, Starling Marte. Digging in to try it again, Starling Marte. He scored after tripling in his first plate appearance. What's he got in store for us here? Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And a fastball just below the knees, ball one. Here it comes, 1-0. Oh. Line drive to left. Jones is going to get there as he backs up to put it away, and there are two gone now. First baseman number 44, Willie McCovey. Ready for another chance. Willie McCovey. He hit a sack fly earlier. He's set and the pitch. A swing and this ball is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to keep this one in the ballpark. And wow, that got out onto Utah Street. 